Um, thank you very much, everyone, for joining our Twitter space today. Um, this Twitter space is Twitter space number eight. Uh, Radlin, welcome back. Uh, he was here for the Twitter space number five, where we went through Magpie when um, Horizon Protocol started collaborating with Magpie and Wombat. So today, we're going to focus on CakePie. Um, First of all, I really want to say congratulations because CakePie just got released really recently. Uh, proposal for v, uh, VK came out in November, um, announced at the end of November that they were making this official, and then CakePie is officially one of the uh, recognized, um, what's the term that they call it? Uh, well, it's one of the recognized uh, VK. I think it's VKIG managers. That's that's the term that they call it. Uh, but you can find it on, um, yeah, it's called VKIG managers. It's on pa Pancake Swaps docs. So that's amazing. It's that was super fast. And I'm going to ask you about that in a little bit. Just how you guys got this to work. But um, let's let's get started. So uh, my name is Stanton Wong. I am the education director at Horizon Protocol. Um, Horizon Protocol is a synthetic assets project. The easiest way to think about this is that um, we provide a way for uh, for us to bring real world assets. So in the form of uh, equities like stocks, American stock market, uh, Hong Kong stock market, Euro stock market, uh, we can bring those assets, we can bring Forex. So USD, Euros, any currency that's publicly traded and anything essentially with a data feed or oracles, we can bring that on chain and make it tradable. So you can get exposed to the, the price fluctuations of these different assets uh, on chain without having to transfer your um, crypto assets into uh, fiat and then back. So that's essentially what our protocol empowers. Um, and this is uh, going to be an interesting way as we develop the ecosystems where we allow for more assets to exist on chain and more exposure so that you can you can keep the majority of your assets on chain with, instead of having it kind of rotated in and out of um, fiat just for trading real world assets. So with that said, um, I would like to invite Radlin to also give a quick introduction. He has, from last time, I have to say he has one of the best introductions ever. So uh, I hope it, I don't hype it up too much, but Radlin, please um, introduce yourself and also uh, like last time, give us a bit of a background story on how you got involved. Yes, thanks for for having me, Stanton and Horizon Protocol. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a while, but it's, it's good to be back um, doing an AMA with you guys. And uh, Stanton, believe it or not, I don't have a, a computer set up um, on my phone with an AirPod <laughs> currently. Uh, Maybe one day I'll, I'll get that uh, that setup going, but for now uh, it seems to do the job and it seems to work fine. So I'll continue using it. But uh, my my background personally is historically in the oil and gas sector, um, primarily in uh, HSE project management. So um, I've worked at your Chevron's, BP's, Shell's. Uh, refinery, Cecil, whichever ones you may know, what might be in your region, Petronas. So um, <clears throat> that's my history. The company I was previously working for in the oil and gas business um, due to COVID and such went into liquidation bankruptcy. Um, so we kind of all got retrenched and I dove headfirst into crypto, um, decided that uh, I wanted to invest, kind of got in it in 2021, uh, rode the bull for a while, um, had a lot of fun, um, looking forward to the next bull run, you know, because bull runs are lots of fun um, and everything's moving so quickly. Uh, so uh, very exciting times ahead for all of us, hopefully. And yeah, eventually got into, as I said, uh, my, my history as project management. So I worked as a project lead in a P2E gaming, uh, crypto gaming company. Um, being in a startup, you kind of across everything. And, you know, I kind of was helping out the marketing guys, realized how much I love 
creating things. You know, it was a side of me I never, I never even knew I had, I never even, I never ever saw myself as a creative person, um, because obviously in oil and gas there's zero <laughs> creativity needed. Uh, and then realized that, you know, actually marketing is kind of the way for me. And I've been in that ever since. was fortunate enough to connect with the Magpie uh, team. And as they say, the rest is history. Five, five protocols uh, later. You know, it's, it's been a, a whirlwind, um, but lots of fun. I'm really looking forward to discussing Cake Pie today with everybody. Thank you very much. I love this story because... Like you said, um, oil and gas is not the first thing you would think of for anyone to transition to crypto, but, um, and not only did you transition from just, uh, from oil and gas, you also transitioned towards marketing, something more creative. Uh, it's such a, it's such an awesome story just for me personally, because I love, I am personally very invested in, in education and the concepts of education. So I, I personally just love the story of this transition. Um, the purpose of this call today is we're going to discuss a little bit about Horizon and Proven Proposal Number 11, which is um, essentially we're putting our, we're moving towards using Cake Pie and Pancake Swap and all, all, moving all our incentives over um, from what we had before. We also want to understand a bit more about Cake Pie's ecosystem and uh, generally what benefits it can bring to Horizon Protocol and HCN liquidity providers. So uh, before we start the questions, um, I want to remind the audience that there is a live Galaxy campaign happening right now. So before we dive into the questions, I'd like to remind our audience that the active Galaxy campaign is brought by Cake Pie with a $200 prize pool. During the event, we will disclose the secret word. We'll sprinkle, sprinkle it across the presentation or the questions two or three times. So please listen for that. I will, it'll be very obvious when we're telling you about the word. So as long as you're listening, um, you'll hear about it. So with that said, we are gonna get started. Um, really quickly before we get into the nitty gritty, I'm gonna just introduce the Horizon Improvement Proposal really quickly and just mention what it is. Uh, previously, the Horizon hosted its own um, earn pool where we were essentially um, distributing HCN, which is the protocol, uh, sorry, which is the token on Horizon protocol. We're distributing that to anybody who was uh, staking on, on PancakeSwap for an HCN BNB LP pair. And what we're doing right now is we're gonna sunset that and move everything over to the bribe system that's leveraging CakePy, PancakeSwap's bribe system leveraging CakePy. So, some of the key objectives for why this is going to be really good. Um, it's going to incentivize liquidity. Um, so it's going to boost liquidity thanks, uh, thanks to Cake Pie's innovative bribe system. And for us, one of the exciting things is the expanding our partner networks. So we've worked with Cake, uh, Magpie, and now we get to work with Cake Pie as well. Um, some details we're going to be enhancing our rewards distribution through Cake Pie and then also. Um, as mentioned, we're going to be strategically sunsetting the earn pool on Horizon Protocol and moving it over to Cake Pie. So, so that's kind of the start of why we're having this um, conversation. And with that said, we're going to go into details for what Cake Pie is. So, my first question, as an introduction to Cake Pie, uh, rather than what is Cake Pie in a nutshell? How would you describe it? So, Cake Pie is our <laughs> latest uh, subdao uh, created by magpie it's a state-of-the-art subdao designed to support and enhance the long-term development of pancake swap right, so cake pie's primary function is to aggregate cake tokens and convert them into v cake allowing cake pie to secure enhanced yields and greater governance power um, within pancake swap right, so we are in a yield aggregator um, and our ultimate mission or goal is to accumulate and black hole as much v cake as possible so how does cake pie um, integrate with pancake swap and what benefits does this bring to cake holders and the broader DeFi community so cake pie's integration with 
PancakeSwap revolves around our ability to lock cake tokens as vCake, right? thereby enhancing the platform's yield benefits and governance power. So for cake holders, this basically translates into opportunities for earning enhanced cake rewards as passive income right, if you convert your cake to mCake. Additionally, CakePie's mechanism also supports and <clears throat> provides for liquidity providers by allowing them to enjoy higher APR percentages without the need to lock their cake as vCake themselves. So this integration benefits the broader DeFi community by providing cost-effective voting power and contributing to the overall stability and growth of the pancake swap ecosystem, right? Because usually if you as a, a cake holder want to get the full rewards and governance power on pancake swap, you have to lock your vcake for four years, right? And the average person feels a bit uneasy or is not willing to kind of lock themselves into anything for such a long period of time. Um, however, we kind of almost stand as a medium and we lock the vcake that we received for four years. So we received the full benefits, full yield, full uh, voting power, governance rights, and we then give that over to the users. Yep. Liquid staking is very popular and, and part, of, part of this is liquid staking where you give um, users more opportunities to invest while make, uh, maintaining that their assets are liquid. So um, very powerful and, and I think something we'll touch upon a little bit more is also governance in a little bit. I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sidetrack for a second because something that I'm personally actually very curious about is, so PancakeSwap announced this approximately two months ago in, in November and, and CakePie is one of the few that have been chosen to be vCake managers um, as they describe it. So I was just curious because um, you are you, your your new title is senior cake pie, um, so I'm assuming that you know a lot about how cake pie came to be. Um, is there any story you can tell us on just how you how cake pie became a thing and how um, Magpie got involved with Pecking Swap? Yes, so. Obviously, Magpie was initially incubated by Wombat Exchange um, on the BFB chain. Right? So there is that relationship already with BNB chain protocols, um, with PancakeSwap. So <clears throat> when PancakeSwap announced this, uh, the VCake tokenomics, obviously that's what we would say, that's our game, you know, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. That's kind of our, our core functionality. So we immediately kind of kicked into gear. As you said, I mean, it was a very quick turnaround time. Um, we've never, we've never launched a protocol that quickly, but fortunately, um, we do obviously have the required skills in house. It's not our first. It's not our first rodeo, <laughs> so we do know how these how these protocols uh, need to be marketed. We do know the technical side. Our technical team are an amazing team. They're always on point, you know. So we were able to really just kind of pull back the schedule and do it in really record time. <laughs> Truth be told, record time, mm -hmm. you know. And I think you always have to. In any space, if you if you get the opportunity to be the first mover, it always gives you an advantage, you know. And we are fortunate in I mean, besides just being a first mover, we obviously through Magpie have relationships, as I said, with the BNB chain, um, with protocols there, and also we have social proof, you know. So when we launch something like Cake Pie. Already there's a buzz, there's a community looking to get behind it because we've already proven that we know how to make, uh, how to create protocols that, that really <clears throat> resonate with our community and also provide value to the parent protocol that we build on top of. 
you know. So I think also that social proof really made it a almost instant success. I mean, in our cake crush, we managed to convert over five million cake. You know, that's twenty wow. million dollars. <laughs> that's twenty million dollars worth of cake, and currently our total sits at six point three million cake. All right, so Cake Pie already has a 37% voting power on PancakeSwap. I mean, that's huge, you know, um, and it's really just down to the amazing team, um, the Magpie team, the Cake Pie team. And as I said, just the experience that, that we have in kind of putting together these yield aggregators and the relationships that were already in place and as I said, the social proof that we have with our community and the DeFi space in general, that's made it the success that it is currently in such a short space of time. Congratulations again. And, and we're very excited for this collaboration and very excited for what you've achieved. Um, it goes to show two really important things about building a project on crypto. One is making sure you have a strong team that can actually build. And um, the second, build not just software, but build in terms of marketing. And then the second thing is uh, building relationships with the ecosystem so that, like you, have, like you said, you have social proof, you've uh, shown that you can get things done, um, all that stuff. Excellent. So back to some of the more technical stuff. Um, now that Horizon Protocol is moving towards Cake Pie, uh, how would Horizon Protocol benefit from using HDN, HZN tokens as bribes on Cake Pie instead of distributing them in a different way? So using HZN tokens as bribes on Cake Pie could offer the Horizon Protocol several advantages. Right? By, by leveraging Cake Pie's governance and yield enhancing capabilities. So Horizon Protocol could see an increase in liquidity and user engagement. This strategy would also allow Horizon Protocol to tap into CakePie's user base, potentially attracting more users and investors to its platform. All right. So currently, um, this is the first bribe um, epoch that CakePie has been involved in. And we've already received uh, $65,000 worth of bribes right, for our debut epoch. Currently, Cake Pie can influence <clears throat> almost $700,000 worth of cake monthly in emissions. Uh, that is the voting wow. power we have. That is the amount of cake we can potentially move to the horizon pool. You know, and obviously this being Cake Pie's first epoch, we don't have any stats. However, this is not our only bribery market in our protocols, right? We have the PenPy bribery market, and we've seen a huge growth in projects that have invested in the bribery market. We've seen the uh, Curve invest in the CRV USD pool, uh, and the pool grow by over 200%. We've seen Gains Network recently invest in their GDI pool, and they've grown by 250%. So it's a simple equation, you know, when it comes to these sort of bribery markets, you know. You, you bribe to incentivize voters to vote for your pool, right? And the fact that we as, as Cake Pie have, have such a, a big voting power as I said, 700k worth of cake emissions are controlled by us that can be potentially emitted to the Horizon Protocol pool, you know, and then increase APYs naturally lead and attract liquidity, you know. Liquidity providers are looking for one thing. Where is my, my tokens? Where are my tokens going to earn the most interest. So it's a simple, simple maths, increase your APY, you make your pool more attractive, and you attract more liquidity. It's as easy as that. Agreed. I, I find it, it's 
when I dived into this a while back and tried to learn everything, it, it very much is a game. I mean, you're hunting for these better uh, opportunities and, and kick pie is bringing this. And this, this also leads to what you mentioned earlier, being a first mover is, uh, is going to help significantly. And so we're also excited to be joining um, one of the first movers. And, and speaking about um, relationships and uh, ecosystem building, I'll turn like the reverse question is how could liquidity providers for from Horizon Protocol and for the HCN BNB pair and others benefit Cake Pie? Oh wait, wait. How could yeah, yeah yeah benefit benefit from Cake Pie? Yeah, so liquidity providers, including those for the the Horizon BNB pair, <clears throat> can benefit from Cake Pie by boosted cake rewards. So as I said, cake pies accumulated V cake enables automatic increases in cake rewards for pancake swap liquidity providers without the need for them to lock their cake tokens as V cake individually. And so this feature enhances the overall yield for liquidity providers on the platform. You know, so as I said, said previously, in order to kind of get the best APYs out of pancake swap, you know, the best bang for your buck, you would have to take your cake and lock it for four years, right? Most people don't want to do that. Probably 98% of DeFi doesn't want to do that, right? So cake pie now stands almost proxy in your place. We've locked the cake and now you get to reap the rewards. We've locked our VK for four years, but you get to reap the rewards with increased, with increased APYs to our liquidity pools. So that's where liquidity providers um, without having to actually take on, as it were, uh, the added risk of, you know, long lockups and that sort of thing. Yeah, I think that's really important for liquidity providers in general, um, just having access to their funds. Uh, and like you said, four years is a long time, especially in crypto. Um, everything happens much faster in crypto, even even um, even though we say that it's been a long uh, bear market in comparison to traditional finance is considerably short, even though this was the longest one we've experienced so far. But I'm glad we're we're moving back into the bull market. Like you said, it's very exciting. Um, I do want to add, add just one question, which was we'll stick with liquidity providers. Uh, just I, what I'm trying to get at was I was. I was previously trying to move towards a question where we're exploring because because we're, we're an ecosystem, right? So there's a lot of benefits for HCN, Horizon Protocol, our liquidity providers um, investing into um, and benefiting from cake pie. And just trying to understand from the reverse, um, how does cake pie benefit from liquidity providers entering the system um, and being uh, basically uh, providing liquidity on CakePie. Okay, I understand the question. So yeah, I mean, obviously there are <clears throat> some fees involved, right, in entering and exiting positions. But I think more than that, obviously with, as I said, you have something like your, your bribery market, right, you obviously need liquidity to be attracted to the pools, right, otherwise why bribe? You know, so the liquidity providers add value to, to the protocol in the sense that obviously we are looking to attract as much liquidity to all our different pools. You as the protocol are looking to incentivize more liquidity to come into your pool. So if liquidity providers find our, our APRs to be attractive, then naturally more liquidity will come into cake pie. And that obviously increases confidence in the protocol. You as a protocol that's looking to incentivize your pool feel more inclined to either start incentivizing or to continue incentivizing because you see the <clears throat> you see the increase in your, your liquidity, whether it's on cake pie or or pancake swap. You know, so liquidity providers are integral to any sort of protocol. And I mean, that's why if you, if you look at our, our revenue share, 80% of it goes to liquidity providers. So that kind of tells you where the priority is 
um, and kind of where the value add is for any protocol. You just need to go and look at their, their revenue share. Where are they? Who are they incentivizing? Where are they sending their money to? And that's going to immediately tell you uh, what segment or what, what user is their kind of primary user, you know? And for any protocol, a, a yield aggregating, a yield boosting, it's liquidity, you know? So we are trying to attract as much liquidity into CakePie, as much liquidity into the Horizon Protocol, BNB Pair, um, to add value to our, our clients, our protocols, and our users as well. Perfect. Um, I was, this is the perfect answer because what I was trying to get at is that all DeFi protocols kind of are connected in some way and we benefit from building relationships with each other. And there's all parties win um, if, we success, we, if we successfully work together. And so um, it's, it's great. And I think the other thing I wanted to mention was that traditional finance, a lot of these ideas behind um, additional re revenue, like by investing your money in certain areas, it's much more opaque. It's not as transparent as DeFi. And so, again, why I kind of believe in this space is that transparency and, and um, making sure that you understand how things work is going to be more and more important moving forward. Yeah, and just uh, before you jump into another question, just to kind of piggyback on that last point there. I mean, as you said, I mean, you go to most protocols, they've set up a Dune dashboard, you know, everything is there, all the information you could possibly need about revenue, uh, whatever it might be, fees, you know, swap rates, whatever it might be, depending on the protocol, all the information is there. It's transparent, it's mm -hmm. verifiable. You can go on chain and, and verify anything that, that, that's kind of displayed in that Dune dashboard. You don't find that in traditional finance. There's all hidden costs. You know, as the, the term, the fine print, you know, yep. did you read the fine print? <laughs> you know, you don't get that. You don't get that in DeFi. You know, everything is there. It is as plain as day, you know. And I think that's what really sets decentralized finance apart, you know, is that everything is open and transparent. You get to have a look at, as it were, the books, you know, if we were to use this traditional finance term, you get to open the books and see where's the money going. What what are they doing with it? You know, uh, which I think just completely sets uh, DeFi apart, and that's why I just love the space. Completely agree. So, other than providing liquidity, are there any other ways um, to participate and earn for CakePie's users? Yes. So, CakePie offers its users multiple ways, avenues for participating and earning. So users can, as I said previously, they can convert their cake into M cake and receive enhanced uh, passive income. They can also stake the M cake in the M cake staking pool or the stability vault for potentially higher rewards. Right? And in terms of governance participation, users can lock their cake pie tokens as fault lock cake by tokens. This not only entitles them to revenue sharing and voting rights within cake pie's governance, but also allows them to earn additional rewards through the cake pie bribery market, right? Because if you are a fault lock cake pie holder, you can go and get your, your piece of the, this epoch $65,000 rewards, right? Go and vote for your pool of choice and, you know, get paid for it, as it were, you know, prior for it. So in this market, the, the vault lock CRP holders can vote on various proposals and, as I said, receive bribes and added, adding another layer of earning potential for active governance participants, you know. So besides just the general appreciation of the token, you know, I mean, we, we are, as we said, coming into a bull run. Uh, Stanton, I may have to disagree with you. That bear felt very long. <laughs> <laughs> it felt very long for me. <laughs> you know, um, uh, took me a while. Took me a while. You know, especially you know coming out of a out of a pool. You know, you, you always like 
oh no, this is not a bear, this is not a bear, and it just keeps going down, 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 and then you realize, okay, it is the bear. Uh, we just have to accept it and kind of ride it out, you know? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, you know, even just the, the general appreciation of the cake pie token itself, you know, hopefully as we go into a bull, you know, and, and also another thing to, to take into account, you know, as, as the Horizon Protocol users are considering bribing, uh, it's also the potential increase in the price of cake. Mm. So as cake increases in value, the, your APY to your pools increase in value. You know, your bribe efficiencies increase without you actually doing anything. <laughs> you know, so it's also those, those sort of factors that you kind of look at now when, you, when you're moving into a, a positive cycle, what, what looks to be an up cycle, you know, that it's actually a very good time uh, to kind of utilize something like the cake pie bribery market, you know, because <clears throat> your bribe efficiency has the potential to just exponentially increase without you even doing anything, you know, just with the price of cake increasing. Um, you know, the APYs in the pools increasing just with the price of cake pie increasing, you know. So it's all those sort of things that you also have to kind of uh, take into account when you making your decision to um, go with the cake pie, in cake pie bribery market, you know. But from what I see, I only see upside. Completely agree. It's uh, bull run is going to be the most lucrative for for all um, cake pie investors and anybody who's in crypto. Um, and I, I do agree. I mean, the bear market was long. I think m my comment was more of it relative to traditional um, traditional markets um, when they go into into a bear market. For me, one of the things that I personally felt was I, I felt I personally feel very strongly for crypto in general. And so I fully believed it was coming back, but yes, it was definitely very long. Uh, I'm gonna pause right now to remind the audience about the live Galaxy campaign and disclosing the secret word finally. Um, so the secret word is ascend, A-S-C-E-N-D, like um, ascend like a phoenix. Maybe that doesn't really work, but ascend is the word um, and we will keep going. Uh, I'll spell out, spell it out once more. A-S-C-E-N-D. Six letters. So the next question, we, we, touched, we touched upon governance just now. So um, how does the cake pie model work in terms of providing governance opportunities to its users? And uh, you also mentioned the CKP token. So what's the role of the CKP token? So CakePie's governance model is centered around the CKP token, right? the CakePie token, and it's locked version primarily, which is the vault lock CKP. Right? So users holding uh, via CKP have direct voting rights in CakePie's governance, enabling them to influence the platform's decision-making and strategies. Additionally, via CKP holders earn a share of the platform's revenue making it a mechanism for both governance participation and income generation, right? And I think when you look at the sort of governance aspect of it, I mean, if you understand that you are, as a vault lock CKP holder, um, you are participating with, as I said, the number one V cake holder, right? And when I say number one, it's, I'm kind of underselling it because there's, <laughs> if, if you had to go like into the DeFi Wars dashboard, there's a big gap between us and the next holder. You know what I mean? So when I say number one, currently, you know, it's, it's a big difference, <laughs> you know? So as a Vault Lock CKP holder, you are basically, <clears throat> you basically have governance rights to what is the by far the number one holder of VK. So you have uh, rights to direct pancakes swap, basically, you know, as the number one holder um, with the most voting power, you know, you can really have a say in the direction of cake pie and 
subsequently in the direction of pancake stock as well, which I think is is, is a huge benefit. Um, and especially, I mean, we all know pancake stock is just a a huge desk dex with an amazing team, you know. But you can just imagine having sort of power to wield and kind of control the direction that a, a DEX as large as Pancake Swap is. Um, you can just imagine kind of having that sort of power with your VLCKP. So yeah, it's, it's a good good token to hold. Yes. So with so much power though comes great responsibility. Sorry, that was very funny. <laughs> um, so for, for security measures and protocols um, in place for, like what security measures and protocols are in place for CakePy to ensure user assets safety? So CakePy prioritizes security right, to, above everything else. And that's evidenced by our extensive audits by industry-renowned firms, BlockSec and TechShield. Right? And these audits enhance platform reliability and address potential vulnerabilities. Additionally, CakePy employs a multi-signature setup for all smart contracts. So this adds an extra layer of security by requiring multiple approvals for transactions. So CakePy's commitment to robust security practices is further demonstrated by its successful integrations um, on our other sub DAOs uh, with established DeFi platforms like Pendle Finance, which is PenPy, and Radiant Capital, which is RadPy, showcasing our capabilities to maintain secure operations uh, within what is a complex DeFi ecosystem. So touch wood, um, we will continue our, our, clean, our clean record. Yes. Um, I think I think you listed out all the best practices and you've implemented. We also work with uh, Peck Shield, multi-signature setup. Um, yeah, all the best practices uh, for implementing. And like you said, there's always um, situations, black swan events that you can't come, you can't kind of um, expect or prepare for. So knock on wood, make sure, not make sure, but we hope for the best, um, having done everything we could to make sure we're secure. So what can the Horizon Protocol community expect from this partnership with CakePie in terms of mutual collaboration, synergies, and joint efforts? The partnership between Horizon Protocol and, and CakePie is expected to foster mutual collaboration and synergies right, by enhancing liquidity. As we said, if um, the Horizon Protocol users vote through this proposal, um, very confident that liquidity will increase um, and be attracted to the the ACID and BNB pair, right? Through enhanced governance and yield opportunities for both of our communities. So users can anticipate integrated services and features that can leverage the strengths of both our platforms. Right? So offering innovative DeFi solutions and amplified benefits for our users. So we very excited, as I said, we, this is not our, our first uh, rodeo with Horizon. Um, we worked with, with the team on, on Magpie and that's why we're so confident and excited about working with them again with CakePie, you know? So we're very excited about the partnership and collaboration. Agreed. And so looking to the future, I know this is, a new project relatively and that you only own um, 37 percent of the pool compared to like the next best i think at five percent or something um but looking into the future what's the vision of cake pie and what are the next steps to achieve it so cake pie's vision <clears throat> as a mission as i stated previously is to continue advancing as a as the leading yield and veto economic service provider, right? And to further bolster the sustainability and growth of PancakeSwap, right? We want to lock up as much VK as possible. Um, we want to black hole it, we want to remove it um, out of circulation, right? So there's less circulating supply of cake um, to help grow PancakeSwap, right? And grow the, the cake token itself. 
And future steps also include expanding our service offerings, enhancing user rewards, uh, governance features. Like I just said, we a spanking brand new protocol. Right? So there's still some governance uh, to come in, um, kind of to to get us where we where we want to be. You know, even though we've had a, a, an amazing start, um, and we just want to continue to forge ahead. And then, like what we're doing now with Ryzen Protocol, we want to obviously focus on forging strategic partnerships within the DeFi community, you know, to kind of grow the space and grow with the space as well. I completely agree. I think the, the key message you mentioned was um, helping grow PancakeSwap and the community. Um, with with all DeFi projects, the, the more that we think about how we help others, I think the more the ecosystem will grow and the better projects will kind of float to the top um, over time. And so I think that's very important. Um, that's, that's it for our, uh, questions. And I don't know if there's any questions from the audience. If there is, uh, please write in the chat. Um, I'll take this time also to remind the audience about the live galaxy com campaign that I mentioned approximately 10 minutes ago. Um, but again, the secret word is ascend A S C E N D. And, and, uh, when you sign into the Galaxy campaign, you'll have to enter this secret word. So this is the second time I mention it. Um, so I hope you've paid attention. Uh, so again, if there are no questions, we're going to keep going into closing words. For Horizon Protocol, um, we we have HIP 11, which is moving to Cake Pie. Uh, this is a hip. So the way that we look at this is we want to make sure that uh, we're involving the community to also vote and to make sure that they understand what this means moving over. We personally uh, strongly believe in CakePie. We believe in this relationship with the Magpie team in general. Um, so this is something that we, we uh, would like to help. We want the Horizon Protocol community to engage and also um, make the final decision to reach out uh, and and if, sorry, if there are any questions, please reach out to us or KickPy if there are any additional questions or concerns. Um, lastly, I'll, I'll pass it over to Radlin. Do you have any last messages uh, or anything that you want to share? Yes. Um, no, just thanks, Stanton, for having me once again. It's always, always a blast talking to you um, and being on the Horizon Protocol AMAs. And from my side, look, I would just encourage the Horizon Protocol uh, voters, users, uh, token holders to, you know, really have a good look at this proposal. Um, I've looked at enough data points. I've seen how <coughs> protocols who have utilized bribery markets have grown exponentially, you know, so um, I'm for it. You know, but ultimately the users do your own research. Um, but I definitely think if um, <clears throat> Horizon, if this protocol passes, I definitely think it would be a great value add to the whole Horizon ecosystem. Um, and I definitely foresee a, a lot of growth um, in your uh, liquidity pools. So, yeah, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you guys. Likewise, Radlin. Um, as a final closing statement, I, I will do one more final reminder. This is a special thanks to CakePie for offering the $200 um, award for participating in the Galaxy campaign. And the secret word is Ascend, A-S-C-E-N-D. Again, thank you very much, CakePie. Thank you very much, Radlin. Um, thank you very much also to Horizon Protocol team for arranging this. Um, and thank you very much to all the listeners who have joined us. Have a good day. Thank you.